31 people arrested, two people shot, the violence overnight in Ferguson, Missouri escalating. So many different dynamics there right now. KBC 9's Matt Fleener is live in Ferguson this morning. Matt. Stephanie and Donna, good morning. You add in that dynamic of the Missouri National Guard, which is standing by here at the police command center in Ferguson, where there are literally dozens and dozens of police officers, many who have had a very long night here in Ferguson into these early morning hours because of all of the uh, all of the protests that really happened last night. Really, those protests got going about 9:30 after a very peaceful evening. Again, those protests certainly got going when police moved in toward, toward them with a line, a barricade, in fact, there on West Florissant Avenue. We did say, as you said, Donna, 31 people arrested overnight, two people that were actually shot near West Florissant and Canfield, near where Michael Brown was shot back on August 9th by police officer Darren Wilson. Now, the man who's in charge of all of this police presence here in Ferguson now, Captain Ron Johnson, he spoke to reporters right around 2.30 this morning, and he talked about some of these people who have been coming in from New York and California causing a lot of the unrest here in Ferguson. And I'm telling you, we're going to make this neighborhood whole. We are going to make this community whole, and we're going to do it together. And I am not going to let the criminals that have come out here from across this country or live in this community to find this neighborhood and to find what we're going to do to make it right. As police continue to have a presence here, classes are canceled in the Ferguson Florissant School District until the end of this week. In fact, they're not going to be back in session until next Monday, and that is, of course, based on what might happen here over the week to come. So we're going to be live all morning long, moving around a bit, just to give you a, a scene setter of what's going on here in Ferguson as these protests do continue here.